color is the number one, number one, <laughs> nothing else, subjective thing of all. The number one. Hello and welcome to Design and Color Talk, where design meets interiors, architecture, art, and color. My name is Gary Cohn. I'm an architectural designer and an interior designer here in Dublin, Ireland. And my friend, Kali Simone, Hi. in Los Angeles. <laughs> She's a wonderful friend of mine. She's a positive spokesperson, a commercial actress, a nine to fiver, mom, and a lifestyler. Okay, so that's my friend, Kali. Hi, Kali, how are you? Hi, Gary, how are you? How is it over there in Ireland? Love, love, cold, rainy, and dark. So, oh, sorry, <laughs> I won't tell you about the gorgeous views I have outside of my window. <laughs> Light, <laughs> palm trees, blue sky. Oh, oh, before I forget, Holly. Oh, that's right, right. The yeah. tech guy yelled at me. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that because I think we we've, we've been through this, Gary, a few times. But it's okay. You get grace. When yeah, will you remember to tell the people to subscribe? <laughs> How are they supposed to know they're to subscribe unless you tell them? Well, Whoa. I said to them, at the end, at the end. <laughs> Gary, Gary, is your tech guy like an Italian from New Jersey? Like what, what happened? <laughs> I thought you were in Ireland. What I know. Happened? Actually, he's from Brazil, so I can't do a Portuguese accent. <laughs> he's from Rio. So he's like, you know, that you accent. Know, you know, we gotta go to the beach, but look at look what they <laughs> Oh, I cannot. I oh. love it. I'm here for him. Brazilian. Well, everybody, guy. Please I love him. Subscribe if you were if you like the show. Also, <laughs> share with your family or friends. That's even better. You know, share it. You bring it. <laughs> and please don't let the tech guy yell at me again. <laughs> I know, <laughs> Gary. I need to do better as your friend. I really do. I need to write it down on a piece of paper and just say like and subscribe. <laughs> I don't want you caught out there. Not a Brazilian IT guy. He seems pretty serious. <laughs> oh, I should be asking you. What do we have in store this week, Colin? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. No. Thank you for last week. That was was really really good um i love the project i love getting your viewpoint on ai um and your project last week was pretty big it was like a whole like house renovation it was a really big scale so what i thought about this week is maybe if you have something a little bit um smaller scale something a little bit more compact like here's the kitchen let's change this kitchen do you know um and keep it within you know if something within the same floor plan because you rearranged a lot last time so i, I just a little bit toned down to something a little bit smaller scale okay. smaller space for those people who you know don't have that huge budget to like make major changes but significant changes in a smaller space okay okay i'm still laughing at the tech guy but yes <laughs> is he running through your head is he running <laughs> rent free through your head gary <laughs> No, I can go home and sleep. That's why I'm like, I did it. <laughs> oh, good. You should be good now. Design therapy. <laughs> you need to sign up. <laughs> you can't pass that. Oh, I'm sure he didn't mean it. What's his name? What's your what's the IT guy's name? Victor. Victor. Uh, he's very nice. Victor. Victor is very nice. Victor, please give Gary grace. He's not getting <laughs> sleep at night. <laughs> He's on edge. He's on the brink. Victor, please. We like Victor. We like Victor. Victor. <laughs> okay, let me show you a kitchen I have for you. Okay. Here is a kitchen that I designed. I'll take you through the beginning. Okay. So there is no befores because there was this add-on, and I'm going to show you how the kitchen looks. Okay. Okay. So again, here's what I did with the kitchen. Is first I start off with my inspiration images. And they wanted it very bright and airy, um, kind of playful with it. So you see how they have these very soft colors uh, mm -hmm. they wanted. Um, they have some children, so they want to be able to play. Um, they wanted the kitchen to be more to, to get together. But the kitchen is actually too small for a real island. You couldn't put a real island, you know, where you sit down on mm -hmm. it. But you still wanted an island to cut food and et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Oh, even look at the, the the bench seating. I put a bench seating here, not a window seat because I didn't have room, 
excuse me, but I had bent seating over in there. Just how I'm doing some more inspiration for arrangements. The colors are very soft. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, very kind of playful, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, going through and loving this really soft green. And then uh, because I don't have a lot of space, I had to work out how to do cutouts and storage. We wanted storage and cutouts was for hacking, but seating and storage that are high and low. So it didn't look like it was just this, um, you know, wall of, you know, closet right. doors and everything. Yeah, it's not monotonous. So is there a reason why you change? Is there a reason, can you go back? Is there a reason why there's all grayed out? Because you didn't want them to pay attention to the colors in the space? Or? Absolutely, because um, when I found these images, what the color of what you see inside is this really bright yellow. And it was- um, Distracting. Um, and what I did find out over time is that um, when I work with clients, when I usually do drawings and everything, I usually give them black and white first, not okay. color. <clears throat> so they're not distracted and they get caught on something that may or may not be what you're trying to convey at that point. What I found over time is color is the number one, number one, <laughs> nothing else, subjective thing of all. The number one, hands down, because if I design, I've designed things like a large company and we're doing the, uh, a, a retail store and I wanted this, you know, accent wall in, let's say, um, we'll use the yellow, like this bright yellow. I wanted it on purpose and I've worked so hard on the design and it looks beautiful, but they hate yellow. <laughs> well, you're cooked. You're cooked. You're cooked. They're like... Wow. I know, but that yellow wall, I'm like, no, the wall could be any color. I just did it yellow. Um, they can't, they can't unsee it. No, nope, no. Nope. So do you leave color to the end? Is that what you're saying? Oh. I focus you on the design, the layouts of everything. Uh, you actually do them in black and white so that you will listen to the messages that I'm trying to convey to you. So right. circulation or here, we're sitting here. And then your brain doesn't have this color going on, okay? Right. Too much information, Too they much can't sort information. it out. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So when you do that, it really, really works. When I start putting in the color, okay, I do some tests and then I see how they react. Like on the second presentation, I go, I might have like a lot of black and white and add a little bit of color here and there. Uh, and then start like, learning. Oh, <laughs> you start picking up on cues and seeing when they're like their body language changes maybe you know maybe if they don't like a red they like clam up or something or if they like they like a blue they're like smile oh that's a lot that's yes, a lot yeah, exactly yeah. so when you when you see that you go oh got it got it and then once I figure out what they're liking and right. I start putting it all together it's like they took all the function now and now I give the look they want seal deal they're like oh, love it love it, love it. <laughs> so here is the um this i'm in powerpoint right now here's the real, real color oh wow that is a statement i can see why you would take the color out because that is bold i mean the person that you show this to has to be in love with yellow or it's a brand do you know what i'm saying i see it like like maybe i don't even i'm trying to think of um the yellow pages <laughs> thinking yeah. of a brand maybe this is their this is their um their lunch spot, their, you know, their um, employee absolutely, kitchen type absolutely. of deal. Yeah. But when you see over here, you could see that, um, like, it's the same thing. It's the same picture. It's the same room. Mm -hmm. But um, no distraction. You weren't distracted. You, your Not mind didn't even think. Right here, you're, all you're thinking of is, turn the page. I don't like that yellow. It's a I, thousand I, percent. Right. And or you, you get somebody who loves the yellow, and that's all they see. <laughs> <laughs> they're not even you're trying to cut you know you're trying to get across something different like there's a nook there's circulation there's a bench here like you're getting across a, the architecture of the space of the movement and they just like oh, love that color let's do that let's do that and you don't even know how you're going to walk through the space absolutely absolutely so, and it's because they couldn't do an island i have to do something where they could um chop wood but look at i found this isn't it very cool over here i love the functionality just pulling out the, and then pulling it back that's so awesome that's so that's so amazing but this is what i did something more like this but then okay. i like the way this designer has it going into the cabinet if they want oh the whole thing pushes in yes yes but um our space doesn't have this island here it can only have this small one over here 
I see. Yeah. And then I show more of furniture, what that looks like, mm -hmm. um, more of the colors. Again, very light, airy, very friendly. Isn't that very pretty? It's gorgeous. I love the geometric, the geometry of all of what you're showing of the, the furniture pieces are gorgeous. Yeah. And the accents in the black and then the, mm -hmm. the white. It just really, really look at and adding some fun color now to the space. I love it. Yeah. Okay. It's not overwhelming. It's very subtle. The subtle color choices, like the intensity of your colors are just perfect. They're not too, too, you know, heavy. Oh, I love that. Exactly, exactly. And so there's that. Mm -hmm. And then look over here. Then there's a staircase coming yes. down, a little staircase you'll see. And I just wanted to be a little bit more fun. And right. again, using the same color schemes coming through. And then I wanted to paint the ceiling this really pretty light blue so that it feels like it's like very uplifting. This is more details showing how I want to do the lighting, just a strip of black. I love that. Yep, like, all inset in the ceiling. It's not all sticking out. And, there, and the lighting like this would be beautiful. Ooh, I love that. Well, we'll have to do another video on lighting because I could give you so many great tips on that. Um, some more um, inspiration images. And then because they have kids, I wanted to add some furniture that they can like play around with. It's I so fun. Yeah. More about this one is more just showing them ideas that I could do. I know this is more office but it was like ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks playful, you know, it looks like kids would have a good time on it. It's just inspired. And then see, I look at this guy with the stair sitting on the stairs. Yeah. You can see where I brought yeah. that in or the girl with the books. You know, that's how people are studying. That's libraries nowadays. You know, that it's a, a very casual environment. Do you yeah, know where yeah. they it's really inviting. work anywhere, work on the stair, take their laptop at the table, anywhere. That's great. Absolutely. Now we're going to go into the, into the design right now. And okay. I'm going to work through it. So you tell me when you, things that you don't understand, um, okay. because I'm going to show you plan views and then I'm going to go into the, um, into the 3D rendering. Okay. So they added this piece here. So you see how this is down here, the kitchen, it's down here. Mm -hmm. There's like two steps down to this level. And then you have your kitchen dining area here. And they have this lounge area because the house ends here. Oh, that, so the addition was the uh, lounge. Well, it's kind of weird. The, I'm going to show you. I'm going to use my um, annotate here because this was a space. They added this space here. Okay. So, yeah. and then they combined them together. Okay. Because they knocked this wall out. I had to connect this space also. So we knocked that wall out, but it's still not very big. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. Here's what I did. You come down and open up cool. all the space here. Oh okay? my gosh. Yeah. Then I just, I gave a few examples in this version. I, I opened up the wall here and I could see into it, but there's, um, and there's a, this stepping connection right here. Love that. Uh, this version, I have the steps coming up, a bench seating here, a dining table here. And that's that little mm -hmm. island, that island. little island there for chopping and et cetera. Mm -hmm. So it's all open. Mm -hmm. And then this one, I connected all here. Okay. And that, by the way, this is a pocket door here. So you could close this yep. off. Okay. Because yep. you really don't like to have a toilet that opens on to here. So you have a pocket. <laughs> <door. clears throat> no, you got to think of these things. You really don't want, you know, so you want to close that off. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Even though there's a door there, but still it gives us a, a, a little bit more privacy with the pocket door when you have a toilet mm -hmm. you really want to try to lobby it meaning give an area but let's just be honest it's about smells okay <laughs> i don't want to open the door and be like look all that just went right into the kitchen <laughs> you want to seal that baby off put a vacuum tight seal <laughs> maybe when you come out there's like air fresheners <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We yeah. know there's well, that's what you have to think about in a small space. Oh, you said up 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 top. Oh my god. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, you know we have the ventilations that never work. It just makes the sound for you. <gasps> you work I know. Here. Like, no, no, no. Don't go in. Give that a minute, uh, five minutes. <laughs> Light the candles, get the bath and body works sprays out immediately. <laughs> the bath and body works sprays are really good. Like do you guys have that over there in Ireland? Uh, no, but I know from from um, when I'm in the the Bath and Body Works. This yeah. Right. No. Oh, because they do. You know, my sister has some of those, and they smell. They're good. They're really advanced now. 
would really nice. Yes, 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 yes. They're really potent. You could put them in your car. You could put them in the bathroom, even your bed, like everywhere. I could do a whole commercial, but they're really good. You just <laughs> got to get them on the sales, though. Don't spend the original. It's very expensive, like twelve dollars. But you get them on sale, they're only three bucks. What are you gonna do? The coupon. The coupon. Get the coupon, Gary. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you. Right when we finish, you're getting a Bath and Body Works coupon. <laughs> you can use it when you get into the States. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we, we, we lobby that for that reason so that we can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The, the, the plan before it. Can I see the plan before it? Okay. So you kept. Okay. 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 I gotcha. Gotcha. This is, um, this is just the 3D model we worked on. It's just to show you how the space looks. Okay. Yep. Empty, empty. So we add, so you have all that. Okay. And then this is looking back to the house. So we, you know, yep. just there's an opening here, can open there. Okay. There's that yep. room upstairs. Okay. Yep. It's like, is that like a loft space or something? Or, yeah, well, that's a bedroom upstairs. Oh, okay. It's just a cut. It's not like looking down at, or anything like that. Exactly. Okay. You have, that's what it looks like where I'm in the, if I'm in the toilet, you see, I'm totally, like, I totally get it already. I saw the pocket door. I see the stairs. Yep. I'm oriented. Well, yep. I get you. Here's what we actually went through to with the end. <clears throat> so what okay. we did was here, there's your little WC or toilet. You enter here. They didn't like the pocket door because of the kids. Yeah. They wanted to have a door that can slow so I said fine. yeah then over here is more storage here's your seating with uh, bench seating the reason why you use bench seating and not a dining room table is because when you when you're sitting and you have a table you have to leave room to get mm -hmm. behind the chairs and circulate right. so if you have a bench seated against the wall you've saved that room for circulation Totally get so it. that's why bench seatings work really well. Okay. Or bench small, small spaces, you get your circulation back. So that's why we did that. So I got more surface area here. Okay. Love it. I and love that. Over here is the uh, the island. Got all everything over here, the refrigerator. And then see here is the steps going up to here mm -hmm. and more seating for the kids and storage underneath. Mm -hmm. This is opened up. The TV's here. It could tilt to see over here if we want. Fireplace. Yeah. And I'll go here. So that's what it starts to look like in 3D. I love it. I can start to see your inspirational images come in. Very good. Very good. You see? Like from the library steps, I can see the kids on their laptop, you know, watching mom, you know, cook or whatever, or even sitting on the stairs if they feel kind of like just chill. Do you know nothing formal? And then here's us looking through the cutout here. Here's looking through the kitchen now. There's your all the storage that they have over here. Mm -hmm. That took the island away so you could see it. Mm -hmm. They're now looking back because you have this weird shape here, which is all, you know, windows. And so now look, it's all this really open space. It's very small, by the way. It's not right. it's bigger than what yeah. it thinks. Because you think if I couldn't fit the island with the stools on it, it's kind of compact. And there's looking from the table back so you could see everything. Mm -hmm. Everything is very compact. The, the kitchen was very compact, so I need some more room on the other side for storage and over here for storage, underneath here for storage, okay? Mm -hmm. um, up here, we're in the up in the upper part now, mm -hmm. and there's the TV, more storage and everything, the fireplace. That's beautiful. I know these people were happy. <laughs> they were very happy, very happy. That and here's your so orientation. I, I did a little map up here for orientation. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. We were looking at mm -hmm. this way in the plan. So that's really pretty. It's kind of fun. It's such a fun space, Gary. It's so, I just love the little the little areas that you can connect and sit down. It's so varied and interesting. Do you know? Because you can even sit on the bench and like just I could see the kids' legs sprawled out. Exactly. You know? what I want exactly what they're very very uh, connected with their children. So they really want to have fun. Oh, right. and here's the color palette that we came up with. Okay. Oh, so love I, the rug. Oh, Gary. And look at the, the textures were created because they're soft. So this is the this is the uh, this is the ceiling right here. This is cabinets, uh, uh, and the backsplash, and then the the and then that's the rug. And then look at the textures on the fabrics. So I love it. See how yeah. it's all coming mm -hmm. together. And then mm -hmm. there, I show you how it all works as you're going around the room. You can see we're pulling all the pieces together for the client. So I do this when I do a presentation like this. Mm -hmm. I've worked with the client. I come to them and the way I do this is there's no words. I could take the picture, point where it goes, the client understands. 
because it's sometimes hard for people to read plans and everything. Yeah, right, right. Hey, Gary, I have a question. Is that like concrete? Like you see where your cursor is right now, that gray? Is that just concrete floor? Is that what you're saying? Well, they wanted a um, concrete floor, but they couldn't um, afford, well, they, the, the, the foundation would not allow a concrete floor. So okay. I found these tiles that were mm -hmm. about uh, four by eight feet, four feet by eight feet, the size of a door. Okay. Okay. And the tiles represent concrete? Or is that what you're saying? It looks like concrete, yes. Excuse and me? it's underfloor heating there. And when you have tiles that big, you actually think that it's, you know. That's the real thing, that it's the real material. And it looks like the real thing. It's a beautiful tile. I think we were talking about the printer, how that works. <laughs> and then I, you know, that island that you brought in, is that like an actual island? Like you, or is that a custom thing? Or you, you went and grabbed a manufacturer's specific size island to put it in there? I, I could do either one. I could make it custom or I could um, make it uh, my own. So what did you do for this one? I gave a design for them for what they can have. And I don't know what they did because when I, when I finished the project, they didn't have their island. But they have it if they want to go to the carpenter. They have the design or they can buy it themselves. I like the little bit of these odd shapes also that are happening. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is really good because, you know, you could lounge here. And how hard is it to maintain? Do you, like, specify the plants that are going to go in there? Or do you just, you know, are, are the artificial? Like, what is your recommendation for that, the planter? Well, what all I did there for is for the for the, the planter. Uh, oh, right here, over here, the planter over here. I did do the design for the planter. But um, I left it up to them uh, if they're going to really use it or if they're going to um, use fake ones, okay? Mm -hmm. so, but it's possible to do both with it, with that. So that that's sort of the design of how I did it. And so you got the whole idea of what goes in. I could have gone into more detail with you with what, um, with what is going on. But what I would want to do is go show you the um, 3D renderings. So this is with AI, okay? Again... And what I did was the same thing as we did the, on our last talk is mm -hmm. I used AI in the beginning and I'll show you how mine is in the end. So here's what AI came up with. I, I don't know what it did. <laughs> so it the, made a green, an indoor greenhouse. That's amazing. Well, I, growing plants. Well, I do have a window here on mine, but I don't know what it did here. It sort of did something weird. And here's a, another version. It made it very industrial. I think it got confused over here. Right. It looks like the future. I don't know. And the door to nowhere. I don't know. And then here's a, more of a, it's a bit more sterile than the one that I, I have coming up. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you see, I have the window here, but this got really like very sterile. Very sterile. And then you have the, country version which i'm like oh, oh no <laughs> <laughs> oh no we got to a wooden cabin like uh, Hansel and gretel what happened oh no oh here's the they took out the window okay they just changed everything it's not even the same the only thing i could see that recognize is the planner and the, the stairs <laughs> yeah that seems to be consistent and but it's a very bit sterile if you know what i mean and there's another version where it added oh. a um All stainless steel is interesting yeah that yeah you know, again you go like oh that's interesting that and they put a window here i don't know if you can here's my version right here wow gary i love the colors i love the pillows i love the warmth yeah so wow. basically we do have a, a skylight up here and then we do have you know these soft colors coming in and then we have this um and the plants coming around and then we use all these colors just like the concept that i showed you coming yeah. through I, I didn't put the island in here because i wanted you to see everything you wanted, you wanted a clean look yes yes so i can yep. be comparison to everything else so you could see um a lot of the times the 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 design sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you know what i mean right and yeah uh, those other words was it was pretty much i'd have to see them again but looking at yours <laughs> I'd have to see him again. Yeah, and no. I think it's interesting to have a stainless and absolutely not. Not all white. Now that we've seen the softness of the colors that you did, for sure, that is an absolute atrocity. I don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> that is the worst thing I've ever seen. I just no got to tell me how you really feel. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally, it's like Hansel and Gretel. Maybe if we were like in a, a cabin or a lodge, maybe I can see. <laughs> But, and this has a door to nowhere. That is sexy. I love kind of like the futuristic thing, but not for this space. We got kids, it's doing too much. And this is just, they really messed up.
They just yeah, yeah, they put so, the inside, yeah. the outside. They put the tree in the refrigerator. It yeah. sort of got kind of kind of weird with that one. But yeah, that I, got weird, Gary. There's not there wasn't a lot that you could pull. Yeah, yes. And you could see when I didn't go through with you what um the client had so much for storage and everything. So again, it's all about what you're providing and then wow. this layer of you know, back and forth and this and the the colors and everything and the mm -hmm. and then the materials and how we're gonna all put that together. Mm -hmm. so, and if yeah, you that's that's a big for AI. The project we did last week was okay. Like you can pull some things from it. But this one, I don't know, Gary, why do you think you knocked it out the park and AI was a struggle city? It, the, it, the shapes were not working for it to register because that had this weird angle and the, and it couldn't figure out some other, I really don't know um because I have to say there was some other ones that I did and I was like Eek, no you didn't that. even show them <laughs> I was like, no, let's, let, let that. but again it's a tool it's a very very good tool and we we use it to to make it make it work okay now question do you share have you shared any of the AI concepts with your clients at all like a yes, yes, sometimes I show them just like I showed you to show them okay. like, here's what here's what it is and here what it is but sometimes i i won't show them because i need right. to, like, to focus them okay because if there are some not very good ideas and they fall in love with them i just shot myself in the foot <laughs> and then i got to get them out of there okay wow. and put them back on the on the track okay um or that means that i have to start to redesign to get it to be what they want but in the end I, my thoughts are always with them but it's sort of like oh now i gotta get them back on track on right right um, yeah like or go back to the brief here's what you said you wanted now right. you're over here right and, right yeah so you like to keep them on track because i can see it totally going off the rails once you start showing too many options that just wouldn't work because i was thinking about even an ai that didn't that worked pretty well, but there's certain areas that you would just like cross out and say, don't pay attention to that, but you still, you can't unsee certain things. And once a person has a feeling like they need it and then you push it back, like, yeah, no, that's not working. You know, it could be a- Absolutely. A yeah, again, and we're all humans. Remember, we're humans, AI, we're all still working for humans and you're not an AI. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have some AI clients. <laughs> <laughs> Pay us AI <laughs> so we can get, you can come up with uh, better scenarios because what they just showed, they need a lot of help. In this last project, they need help. <laughs> Funny AI clients. <laughs> That's right. Oh, look, finish the brief. Done. Bye. <laughs> the best client ever. When people do work also, keep in mind that it's not always a straight line because you may say, ah, uh, I saw something because I give you that style guide. Remember the first one I went through everything. I create that for the client so right. that they have this sort of idea of the bubble we're working in so that yeah. when they're out shopping or they want to go buy something, they'd be like, you know, ox blood red uh, cabinet is not going to work in here. <laughs> we have a style guide from Gary and it doesn't fit. Exactly. You'll know you're like, up and it's on sale, but where are you going to put it? <laughs> Outside. <laughs> Outside the house, in your car. <laughs> because you can't go in your kitchen. <laughs> put it in your car next to the Bath and Body Works spray. <laughs> right on the dashboard. Perfect. Well, Kali, that's us again. That's us yes. again. So uh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Gary. Your yes, work yes. is amazing as always. I appreciate the so inspiration. Yes. <laughs> and um, and um, please, uh, for Victor's sake, please subscribe. <laughs> or share with some friends. <laughs> and until, share with people you love. <laughs> until next time, that's uh, Design Color Talk, okay? And we will see you next time with more fun design stuff. <laughs> I love it. Stuff. <laughs> Bye -bye. You're amazing. Bye, Gary. <laughs> see more AI images and the kitchen we just designed. Click on the link below. You'll see a full description of everything you saw. Go ahead. Click on it.
See you there.